Welcome, everyone, to another movie review. You already know why you're here. Suicide Squad. But first, word from our sponsors. So if you're going on that exploration through the jungles of the internet, you're going to need a VPN. That's right, guys. It's Surfshark. Alex, tell them why do we work with Surfshark? There's so many VPNs to choose from. Well, the summer blockbusters are here, right? And so Hulu and Netflix and HBO Max and all of these places, they geo-block all of the movies, right? You Sometimes you get, you know, all the good movies are in Netflix EU, and if you're in you, they're in the United States or in Latin America. And Surfshark unlocks that. And on top of that, you get unlimited devices so I could take my terrible movies on the go unlimited supply of terrible movies for this guy yeah and uh, <laughs> he can just share our account yeah <laughs> we've compared it to other similar services so Surfshark mm -hmm. is the one for us I think it should be the one for you too if you're going to choose a VPN to protect your privacy and to unlock all the content that you would like access to right now we've got a deal it's 83% off a two year plan with three months free at surfshark.deals slash angry joe show so guys if you do that that makes it only like $2.21 a month. $2. That's worth it just to have a backup. That's like less than the price of a rental. So you do a single movie, yeah, it's already for paid for sure. itself, guys. <laughs> thank you so much. Consider Surfshark. Click mm -hmm. those links and enjoy the review. So thank you so much to Surfshark. They've been supporting mm -hmm. the show for a long time now. If you're looking for a VPN, go ahead and check them out. Just over $2 a month. Your data will be secure, and you'll be able to uh, un undo all that geo-blocking that everyone seems to be doing right now. That's true. All right, let's get to the movie. Uh, first of all, thank you guys or who are here. The ones are like, oh, why should we listen to these guys? They liked Suicide Squad, well, you the liked, first one. You, you did. Mainly Joe and little Joe and I. Okay, all right? Mistakes were made, but it wasn't the worst DC one. I still think Justice League was far worse look we've all made mistakes i've definitely made them and you know you go to a movie yeah. so like there was a time there was one of my the one that i think that I, I screwed up the most on right like we went to dinner we had a couple beers we went to the theater we're That's having a great time we're joking around the it's movie was night. okay and then you end up giving captain marvel an 8 out of 10 and it doesn't deserve it yeah, and i'll have see? to live with that forever um That's and, you know, that, the internet. that kind of stuff happens right um now fortunately I don't think that there's going to be any issues here because... In the comment section? Oh, no. Comment section, <laughs> yeah. the, the, the comment section is always I'm trying good. to beat you guys. <laughs> it's, going to, it's going to be savage. But I yeah. think this one, um, I think James Gunn just kind of understands this pop he style does. of movies, right? So he knows what this is. He incorporates his own brand of humor. I was worried that it was going to be, you know, I, I want that kind of gritty, real Suicide Squad that, you know, they were trying for the first time but fucked up absolutely miserably. Yes. And uh, this uh, this this version was so much better, especially for oh, me because 100 I didn't hundred percent agree. I didn't like the original Suicide Squad, and well, I was I like a little. I'm not. You did. Lie. I'm not. I'm not I'm, look, if you, you you're allowed to like <laughs> what you like. I, I did not like this. Uh, did not like that one. And I yes. do. I do like this one. I think that. There's not a lot of times where I'm sitting there just puzzled by the choices that they made. And look, it is kind of a silly, dumb, comic book pop movie. Mm -hmm. And as long as you have that expectation, I think that you're probably going to enjoy the film like I did. Did you Did you like it? Oh, yeah. You're going to have a great time with this one. This one is, like, like you said, James Gunn knows how to do it. Like These characters, I know nothing about. But I care about these characters now. It's like, oh, my God, there's so much emotion in everything. He wrote this pretty well, and it's like, as a, we are kind of like script doctors, it's like, all right, this kind of flows. That makes sense, as opposed to like these other stupid subplots mm -hmm. and whatnot. This kind of flows throughout the thing. First act, second act, I was like blown away. Mm -hmm. Rated R was like the best choice for this. Yeah, it's going to hurt. Because I love the gore, though. Yeah, it's going to hurt ticket sales for sure, but you should go out and support this one because I think to. that the violence is is appropriate. He has a really good mix of comedy and violence, and it is incredibly violent. Like, this is going to be something yes. that if you got really, really little kids and you're like, hey, we like Guardians of the Galaxy. It's like, maybe yeah, this, maybe is this one different. isn't exactly, exactly for them. It's more for teenagers. Um, but not. much like Guardians, um, he takes characters that people aren't going to be familiar with, yes. that don't, they don't know anything about them. He's going to introduce you to them. He's going to get you to like them in a very short period of time. He's going to have jokes that kind of, like, 
bring you kind of into it and kind of lift the mood yes. a little bit. And he's going to have a killer like soundtrack him. the entire time. Like the music for this was really good. Um, it's not without its flaws. Um, of course. There was some, I, I think that there was some pacing issues for me. I think that it a started off bit, really but... strong and it ended pretty strong. And then there was a, not a huge slump in the middle, but there's a little bit of a slump. If we're talking about like little things that, that may have not gone perfectly for me, I think that's one of them. I think the pacing, pacing was there. Um, but other than that, I had I had a pretty good time almost all the way through. Yeah, and a quick plot story. You know, basically know the plot. Uh, ragtag team is going to go on a suicide mission for. They're going to try to stop Project Starfish. Project Starfish. It was it was explained in the trailer. So mm-hmm. they got to go so somewhere. The and spoilers there. So you already yeah. see the cast and whatnot. I I felt like everyone had a great. They they all had their great moments. And I, for one, fucking love John Cena. This is his best movie I, ever. I, I, <laughs> Come I, def- on. I think I'm trying to think of other movies he's been good in, but I, I definitely <laughs> agree with you because I was worried that like, I, I wasn't. Or something, yeah, or something. that I wasn't gonna like him, and yeah. he was really, really good in this. Um, he yeah. had he had a emotion p- as opposed to like Fast and Furious. Yeah, I, I think <laughs> Idris Elba did a, an amazing job yeah. too, and so they, they kind of like are co-leading the team a little mm. bit. And there's a huge cast of characters in there. And now James Gunn has already said that there's 30 plus people in this. There they're not so all gonna. Many. They're called the yeah, Suicide I Squad. See, yeah, I see the cast here. It's like all star cast. So yeah, there's a lot of people here. But I love the chemistry between uh, Idris and John Cena. They're like little brothers trying to one-up each other, yeah. always bantering and whatnot. Mm-hmm. It's so great. Their chemistry was great for me. I love their characters. And, of course, Margot Robbie does great as Harley Quinn. Yeah, always excellent, yeah. Which I feel bad because I do wish they would have done her better justice as opposed to um, the first Suicide Squad and Bird to Prey. Prey. Yeah. Yes. I, I want like a standalone with just her. That's what I wanted. Mm. She's great. I fucking love her as Harley Quinn. Look, the, there's probably a long-standing mandate at WB <laughs> that you cannot do anything bad to the character Harley Quinn because they know that the it's perfect casting. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, she's na- she nails the character, and it's just a matter of time before they figure out what what that movie is going to be. So. Um, Suicide Squad, uh, I, you know, there's some other characters in there. They've, I, again, there's probably 30 plus characters. Not all of them make it. They, that's something that they've talked to, you know, heavily about. Um, so oh, yeah. be prepared for for characters to to be there than not be there. Oh, kind of like uh, the first one, Slipknot. Uh, the guy yeah. looks like me. The guy looks He's like, like you oh, hair. fuck this, I'm out. <laughs> and then, <laughs> yeah, I expect that. Yeah. No spoilers, obviously. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But right. I think this is going to be a good time for, for mass audiences. I think that this is going to be a, a win for DC and for Warner Brothers. And I think what they need to do is realize that they're really talented writers and directors yes. out there. And sometimes you have a talented director and they need a writer to, to work together so they don't fuck up some of the most important superheroes of all time in movie form like they did. James Gunn used to write with Zack Snyder, Is it, you know, I, you, that, that whole thing. And then, you know, oh, we, we separated okay. and we yeah. saw, you know, like where, where one person remained and where one person directed Army of the Dead. I think so. the one that I want for the duel uh, for the next comic book story, whatever you want, James Gunn and Taika Waititi. Oh, I mean, that you know, yeah. There's, Come on, those two are amazing together. They, they do the humor appropriately, right? Mm-hmm. So as long as they're dealing with something where the interjection of humor is, is appropriate and feels good, you know, to either offset violence or to make light of, like, really difficult situations, I don't want Taika Waititi to direct a Batman movie, right? Like, I just think that that kind of, the level of humor that he would necessarily bring may not be appropriate. No, he may... be any worse than what we got so far. That, uh, you, are, you are absolutely <laughs> correct. I think, that, I think that is absolutely fair. Yeah. Uh, I just think that they, you know, they are really good at what they do, and we just got to give them, and Warner Brothers, Marvel, whoever, just give them the franchises where it's appropriate. So... I, I think that we got something pretty good here. Yeah. All right, you want to go over your final verdict? Yeah, let's go with final verdicts. Uh, for me, I was torn between like a 9 or a 10. Like I said, there's a little bit of pacing issues. The climax for me was kind of ridiculous and cheesy, but it was fun and enjoyable. I did have fun with this movie. I'm probably going to get like, oh, you're an idiot, whatever, but I'm going to go with a 9. I did enjoy it. The cast was great. Everyone was amazing. I loved the banter. It had... Great action scenes, gore, which I love the gore. Um, and again, like 
the soundtrack was great too. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, we'll talk more about that and spoilers and all that jazz. Yeah, whatnot. exactly what happens in the spoilers section. Yeah. What about you? Uh, I was I'm uh, struggling between an eight or a nine. I really like this one. I think this was a it's it's a bright spot in the the DC universe. Um, there were some pacing problems. There's a little bit of ridiculousness. Like I, it's supposed to be ridiculous and cheesy, yeah. And it's riding this that line. Like, that's of, how I felt. It's like is this too cheesy? Where I'm sucked out? No, but, but you're still having fun. But I'm still having yeah. fun with it the whole time. That's why like it does get it's gonna get to a high mark for me, right? It's either gonna be as like is this a great movie or is this an amazing movie? Um, I'm going to give this Do one. It. I Do don't it. know. I, yeah, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll round it. up. I will round <laughs> yes. up. I'll split the difference. I'll round up to a 9 out of 10. It is, um, yeah. Little nitpicks here or there. It's just mm-hmm. like the story pacing. Um, There's a couple scenes that didn't work for me, but I think this is going to be enjoyable overall, all the way through. As long as you're in the mood for something that is funny and violent, you're looking for a rated R movie, then I think that you're going to have a good time with this one. Oh, yeah. Great superheroes and whatnot. But, Yeah. That's going to be it for our movie review. Once again, thank you so much for Surfshark. Uh, Check the link down below. Yeah, click all those links. Make sure you check them out. And then also, if you're interested in spoilers, stay tuned. We are about to start the spoiler section. Yes, right about now. Hey, welcome to welcome the spoilers. Welcome to the spoilers. Um, I forgot to mention the first part. Uh, Alex and I are editing this together, so bear with us. We haven't done this. So. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll get it figured out. Yeah, it'll, we'll it'll, figure it out. It'll we, be we got fine. this. This is our first one. <laughs> All right, so the Suicide Squad, the story is actually pretty pretty similar to the last one, right? Yes. So uh, Amanda Waller is is a no-nonsense, I am in charge, I put these explosives in your head. She's even more violent. And then she, they really let her kind of explore that. It's hinted at it in the first one, but I think this time she's like, I will throw your daughter in jail. And by the way, people die in our jail all the time. And even though she's only 16, and she, they really developed the character so, you know... It's like everyone in this movie is a bad guy in one way or another. The, yeah, the bad guys are kind of good guys, there, and the good guys are kind of bad guys. But so you're rooting for the bad guys. This is you felt good about this. Yeah, movie. you definitely kind feel of. good about that. So she, you know, he he does a little bit of a bait and switch. They set up this original team. You know, all of the people that are in all the James Gunn movies are, are you know, he's got his brother in there. Um, yeah, the trailer thing you uh, that you see with all the flag with the flag background, everyone's walking. Yeah. Yeah, they're all dead. They all die immediately. They all died. <laughs> they all died. Like, well, no. other than other than Harley, she lives. Okay. Well, yeah. She's the main one. You can, you can, Harley Quinn can't with, die. Nathan's character just made me fucking laugh so oh, much. Yeah. I mean, all of those. Like, uh, I didn't know what he did, though. But, like, his, like. I was like, oh, what's total TDK? detachment? I didn't know. I thought it was like TDK. I was like, I don't know what that's. Yeah, stands total for. death kill. So I was like, oh, go uh, get him. And he detaches his arms. And then he's like slapping people he's from far away. He's slapping people from a distance. He's like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this scene really sets the tone for the yes. entire movie. If you are not in, like, there's going to be people who don't like this movie, right? Totally fine if you're one of those people who don't like this movie. This is going to let you know immediately whether this movie is for you because. Mm-hmm. It's violent. There is gore. It's ridiculous, and there's music playing. And it, it this scene sets up everything. So it's a great litmus test, just immediately for you, just be like, I don't like this, and then just get the fuck out. Because if that scene's not for you, not this movie is not for you. And so they set that team up. Turns out they were, you know, it was a they were distraction. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they they all get blown up, and then the real team is somewhere else. And uh, the you main know, squad, mm-hmm. the main squad, the ones we see more of. We got the Idris Elba as Blood Sport. Um and uh, so Rat basically, two. like I felt like the replacement was uh, Deadshot, Bloodsport, Croc was uh, King Shark, mm-hmm. and I guess the other original Captain Flag and everyone else. You know what? What was interesting about this one is I don't give a shit about Rick Flag at all. And this movie kind of made me care about yeah, him a first little bit. One, I was like, I don't give a yeah. shit about this guy. And so, like, this one did so much better of a job again with yes. characters that I don't either either know, either I'm not familiar with, or I just don't care about. This movie did a good job making me care about them in a very short period of time. And so, mm-hmm. you know, they're they're invading this this small island nation. It's a jungle. It's you know every, every trope that goes along with Fucking it. It's there. Love this part. Yeah, and, and then they they're, they're moving in, and they need to take over because there's this evil. Uh, uh, experiment going on there. We don't know what Star it is, Roger. but if you've seen the trailers, you know yeah. you know what's there. And they come across this camp of bad guys with guns or guy 
Guys with guns. Guys with guns. And so they're like, oh, that's where Rick Flagg's being held because he's one of two survivors that they know about. And they murder everyone in the most funny way possible. These two, you know, it's like two teenagers trying to one up each other. And you've got and John Cena and Idris Elba killing people and peacemaker like, and blood sport. That the, their little competition throughout. Like this who scene, is the alpha murder man? That was amazing. Yeah, and then so they go through this it. this whole thing. You get some male. F- Full frontal nudity, which was a giant shock for for something, because you know you're thinking comic book. It's movie. rated R. Yeah, it's rated Why R. Not? It's like Fuck the, it. someone's hanging dung, and then people get stabbed, and then they find out that those are actually uh, freedom the fighters. Good people. They're, they're good. They're good people, and so they just ruthlessly murdered they're all like, of these. What you're here? How come my troops didn't alert, alert me. me or anything? They're like, uh, we didn't see King anyone. Sh- yeah, King Shark just throws burp, up. Yeah, burps a up finger. A, a finger, and <laughs> like, um, well. <laughs> yeah, I, again, just kind of setting up like how crazy this movie is yes. gonna be, and then it's then the movie from this point on the movie actually started to drag dip. a dip yeah. a little bit. So they have to infiltrate this base, and so they find uh, Peter Capaldi, who's the thinker, and mm-hmm. they set up this like sting operation that lasts a really long time, and then they eventually get him in there, and they find out that Harley Quinn is alive and they have to go rescue Harley. And this is another excellent scene for the movie because it turns out that Harley Quinn does not need to be rescued. Nope. She is, she kills the person who is torturing her and then just goes ape shit. And they, she murders everybody. And it's a well choreographed the and well, were great. And well shot visuals. scene. And mm-hmm. she's a little crazy. So they go a little crazy with some of the visuals. The um, I didn't think I was going to like it. Actually, when I saw the, the trailer, the trailer? Like, I was really? like, uh, I, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to like all the things behind her. It totally worked when I was watching it. I it didn't pull me out of it at all. So I really liked that scene. And then they just kind of move on, and then they invade the base. Yeah, I love that scene right there with Harley Quinn. I kind of wish this was a moment. It's like she needed her own movie. I was like, oh, why didn't she have her own movie? This was fucking great. Yeah, it's and her just kicking ass. Yeah, the the right the dialogue for her was great, mm-hmm. and she definitely knows they, they they can shoot her and her stunt double, or if she's doing some of her own stunts, they they did a very very good job. Yep. So you know, I, have, I imagine they're probably working on another like another redo. You know, Suicide Squad didn't do well, so we got this one, and the heart the Birds of Prey. Didn't do as well as they want, so hopefully we get I another. Don't want Birds of Prey. We get another redo. What if just wh- Harley? Taika, Taika Waititi, Birds of Prey too. I'm all for it. I'm all for it. Yeah. So we'll, we'll maybe maybe we'll do that. <laughs> yeah, you call them up and yeah. we'll, we'll go watch it. Uh, and so they 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 invade the base. They find out that there's Starro the Conqueror, a, a very like a small. It's a space Starmie from from Pokemon, and yeah, uh, it's it's huge and it releases not clones of itself but like face huggers and once they attach you are now part of the entity known bro and then you know he's huge and he changes sizes multiple times and he's got you know variable durability like every character in this movie does you know they all should be dead over and over again and then sometimes when they aren't dead they should be and then they are dead they shouldn't be yeah look i'll let it slide it's a comic book movie it was good enough that i'll let it slide exactly (laughs) uh and then you know they release the bad guy and then we've got this kind of really big cg fest towards the end and this is another like small bit for me that i didn't quite buy that's where i was with you too i was like this is pretty fucking cheesy kind of weird but I'm still kind of along for the ride. Mm-hmm. I was in for it. Like, I don't mind. You know, they're, they're, it's a comic movie, right? We're going to get a big CG fest because that's just what movies do today, right? Mm-hmm. Um, I think Starro looked good. The waves. So the, one of the other main characters, one of the most important characters in the movie is Ratcatcher 2, the, the daughter of Ratcatcher. And she can control with a magic wand rats. And so she points at you and a rat jumps through your skull. One Willard. crawls through your anus. Yeah. Um, and then there's a, there's a bunch of like cool rat things, and eventually she you know lets them know it's like look this isn't your island this is their island and holds the thing up and millions of rats. Um, oh yeah, now we got mittens. Yeah, mittens is here. Millions <laughs> of rats show up and kind of overtake Starro and start chewing through That's the, only way to the ocular them. nerves and like it's really it's gruesome swarm. like kind of crazy and it didn't look that great. Um, you see, yeah, like, the massive like... things, like, crawling all over, but it didn't look, you know, as good as it could, I think. And This was like, eh, yeah. I didn't really like it, but uh, finally, Harley Quinn actually has a javelin. We forgot to talk about the javelin oh, in the yes. beginning where the guy died. He's like, you must take this javelin and use it for 
But yeah. he dies. She starts slapping him. For what? I don't know what I need mm. to use this javelin for. And she's like, I know what to do now. So she just charges from a fucking roof, stabs Star on the eye, penetrates through. All the rats go in and start tearing everything Yeah, the rats up. crawl through the eye of the giant starfish and start chewing, chewing through the eye the nerves, into the brain. Everything. And it's crazy. It is just, a, it's an absolutely this crazy is like, thing. What is going on? Um, well, I mean, rather than tell you who dies, uh, you, we can just go over kind of who lives. And it's not a long list. We, it's not, but I really wanted Polka Dot Man. Was it, was it Polka Dot? Yeah, Polka Dot. Yeah, Polka Dot to survive. He was a great character as well. Yeah, he, that guy's a great character died. actor. He's in everything, too. So, you know, he's been in The Dark Knight. He's been in Gotham. He's been in The Flash. He's been in a bunch of other things. But I think he every scene that he was in, he kind of he stole. He nailed it. Yeah, I mean, this was a, just kind of like a, you know, it's one of those movies where you've got a great ensemble cast, and mm-hmm. they're kind of taking turns stealing individual scenes, but they're not kind of conflicting with it too much. And when he's there, he doesn't have a whole lot of lines, but when he's talking, you're they're def- very memorable. Yeah, yeah you're, you're like, listening. And everyone looks like my mom. I want That's why pe- I killed everyone that looks like my mom so yeah. he has that thing and then uh peacemaker's like listen here norman bates <laughs> it's yeah. like all right i like that one <laughs> yeah yeah the, the the writing for it was great yes um, and so unfortunately polka dot man goes down taken off the leg uh, uh, of starro uh so we don't get any more of that what do you but, have like basically just three people right uh and then sh- and the shark Oh, yeah, that's right. King Shark, Bloodsport, Harley, Harley Quinn, Quinn, and, and rat the catcher rat turn. catcher. Yeah, and those are the only people <gasps> who survive. And then, well, and, and then yeah, until... stick around for the spoilers. There's, there's two. two. There's, there's a, two. There's a mid-credit and a post-credit scene. Mm-hmm. And the, so technically, there's an additional survivor, too. That's right. James Gunn would, did not kill his brother. Um, and so the weasel... Uh, died in the died in the very very beginning of the movie. Drown um, falls out of jumps out of the video helo drop uh, in, <laughs> in, in, on the beach, and he funny can't yeah, swim. It's, it's like, super. Anyone funny. check if Weezer can swim? Everyone's like looking around. Is like, oh shit. Yeah, all the employees <laughs> have been betting on like who's gonna make it and who's gonna die. Um, and mm-hmm. he, he drowned. And then, but in the the first post credit scene or mid credit scene. Uh, coughs up some water and then runs off in the forest. Probably gonna go eat some children because that's his. That's thing. what he does. He, he kills oh, kids. What we forgot also before the Starro thing too, uh, Peacemaker actually betrayed them. Yes. Because uh, what was it? He, they had the disc where it had all the information. They got Starro from the uh, space. Yeah, the Apollo missions you brought Starro yeah, back. USA was like, "Hey, we're gonna take him. We're gonna experiment." But they were like, "No, we want to make sure everything's wiped clean." So Peacemaker's like, destroy everything, make sure nothing gets through. Yeah. So Peacemaker starts fighting with the team and kills Captain Flag, stabs him in the heart to have a little fight. Ratcatcher sees fight him. It's a good fight scene. Yeah, it was. It's, a, like, it, it's, it's, it's particularly it's good. and I was, a, I was like, oh my we're, God. We're watching the fight scene through the reflection of Peacemaker's helmet. So there's a lot of really cool camera things that they yeah. do to like, make, you, make you see everything. Again, really well choreographed, like you... Peacemaker is tossing him around. I mean, you know, John Cena is a he's massive, a massive dude. And then, you know, he's throwing him around, and then they have a good fight. That one scene, that one scene made me care more about uh, Flag than the entire movie of uh, the other one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, like, this one this one did the characters. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to say they did him justice. I don't know. Maybe like, if you're one of the people that have been reading the comics for a long time, like, no, this is terrible. It's not him. I this character felt like a character that I would give a shit about, and the yeah, last one I don't give team, a shit yeah, about. Yeah, that's what I love about that. Yeah, and so you know, Flag doesn't make it, and then we end up uh, having the the showdown between the two alpha leaders. We've got Bloodsport great versus movie, by the way. Bloodsport is a great movie. You yeah. Just check it out. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, and then so we got Bloodsport versus Peacekeeper, and then they have that iconic shot that's kind of a callback to a, a throwaway line in the beginning that. You know, they smaller shoot bullets. bullets. I use smaller bullets, so my bullets will go through your bullet hole, and I'm even more accurate than you. And so, Bloodsport's bullet is actually smaller, and it. No one told them what hollow points actually do when they're when they're shot, but it doesn't Look, matter. Listen, that's why I was like, all right, whatever. Yeah, whatever. Okay. So <laughs> it, the hollow point doesn't open up, and the the smaller bullet just goes through the hollow point, Incinerate. and then the hollow point then explodes and doesn't kill Bloodsport, and the smaller bullet goes right into his neck. 
And as he's dying and gurgling in blood, he goes, ow. And he's like, I use smaller bullets. And then it's, it's supposed to be I got you, fun. bitch. I got, yeah, I got you. <laughs> that moment. Um, but the, the post-post-credit scene yeah. is that Peacekeeper is not dead. Broken leg, uh, screwed he's up, bleeding, but, yeah, bleeding, out. bleeding out, all those <laughs> other things. But uh, it's just they're setting up uh, another one. Like they're give, opening the door for, or for possibly another one. And I would be totally on board for that. Yeah, me too. If they continue this momentum, I'm all for it. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, yeah, I've been kind of tired of like oh, I'm all heroed out, whatnot. I'm done, but this one was pretty funny, kind of laid back, and I had a great time watching this. One. Yeah, we brought up like Taika Waititi in, in, in before, and he's in the movie, by the yeah. way. He plays Rat Catcher One. Yeah, I was like, I saw him. I was like, wait, I didn't know he was in the movie. I was like, okay, yeah. All right. There's a lot of those things, and so Taika Waititi kind of cleansed everyone's palate in the Marvel universe, kind of in the same way, right? We had gotten a lot of you know Thor One and I'm, Thor I'm Two. See Jesus, looking forward to Thor. Yeah, the next one, and like then so, Thunder and something, right? Yeah, Love and Thunder. Love and Thunder. And so Taika Waititi kind of did that, and I think this one can do that for people who are kind of DC'd out. If you're kind of yeah. Sad that all the DC stuff has been, you know, the way Dark. it is. This is this is a good palate cleanser, I think. And so I think people, I, I hope you guys enjoy it. Let us know what you think yeah, in the comments. Yeah, we did. Uh, definitely worth watching. Well, obviously, if you're here, well, I would, I'm going to go watch it again because I fucking love that. Maybe you're going to go see it again? Yeah. Oh, nice. It was a lot of fun. But yeah, definitely check this out. Once again, thank you so much for our uh, spoiler section. I hope you guys had fun. Again, check the links down below. And thanks to our sponsors, Surfshark. And we'll see you on the next movie review. Hopefully we don't mess this one up and get kicked out, right? Hopefully. Fingers crossed. All right. We'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys.